Today, I will show you what's inside of our lifeboat. Lifeboat is one of the most important life-saving equipment on board a ship, which is used at a time of extreme emergencies, and it is capable of sustaining the lives of persons in distress from the time of abandoning the ship. There are many types of lifeboats exist you will see in a merchant marine vessel, depending on what vessel you will be boarded. You will see an open lifeboat type, totally closed lifeboat, David or Pripple Lifeboat. Lifeboats has weekly and monthly inspections. This can be done by visually inspecting the condition of lifting hooks, release gear, blocks, falls, daybits, both exterior and interior, engine must be run ahead and astern, boat must be moved from its towed position, and last, checking the lifeboat inventory equipment. Any defects or missing equipment must be reported to the master as soon as possible to inform the company to avoid deficiencies in case of port state inspection. Moving on to the lifeboat equipment. The equipment must be standard and must be stored inside the lifeboat because IMO enforces it under SOLAS regulation and LSA code. So let's begin with the most important one, the survival manual. This booklet tells you step by step on how to navigate, how to proceed, what to check for in case of emergency situation. It really has in everything in order to survive at sea. Next is a food ration which has a total of not less than 10,000 kilojoules for each person. Three liters of fresh water packed in a bag, suitable for every person. Inside the lifeboat, we have also different types of pyrotechnics, specifically six handheld players, two buoyant smoke signals, and four rocket parachute players. So let's proceed with the handheld players. Handheld player. This pyrotechnic signal will emit a red light of at least 15,000 candela for a minimum period of 1 minute. This type of pyrotechnic is used to attract attention of ships and aircraft and it is particularly effective at night. Buoyant smoke signal. These pyrotechnic are designed to float on the water while emitting a dense cloud of orange colored smoke for at least 3 to 4 minutes. This is used to attract attention of passing ships or aircraft during daylight hours or during search and rescue operation. Parachute Red Players This pyrotechnic provides a simple bright player which may be fired to a height of at least 300 meters which burns with an intensity of more than 30,000 candela for at least 40 seconds. This is used to attract attention of ships when they are at a distance. One copy of the life-saving signals on a waterproof container. First aid kit, all medical items or equipment are inside, ready for use. Anti-sea sickness medicine, sufficient for at least 48 hours and one seasickness bag for each person.
Inside also we have the TPA or Thermal Protective Aid. It is a body warming garment made of waterproof material which cover your body except your face. A jackknife for cutting purposes. Three tin openers. Fishing tackles to catch fish. Scoop. This is used for taking out the water if water gets into the boat. So we have also signaling mirror. This is used to catch the attention of target ship by placing the mirror under the ray of sunlight. A rust proof dipper with lanyard. This is used to grab or take water under the seabed. One whistle capable of producing sound. A rust proof graduated cylinder to ration the water. Next is a buoyant baler and two buckets. One waterproof electric torch suitable for more signaling together with one spare set of batteries and one spare bulb in a waterproof container. A SART or search and rescue transponder. So normally this is used for search and rescue purposes. We have also fire hatchet or fire axe. It is used for chopping or to cut anything. Sea anchor. It is a cone-shaped anchor helps to stabilize the lifeboat. Sufficient tools for minor adjustment to the engine and its accessories. Boat hooks, it is used for grabbing lines or things. An operational compass which is luminous or provided with suitable means of illumination. Inside also we have portable fire extinguisher suitable for extinguishing oil fires. A search light which can work continuously for not less than 3 hours. Two efficient painters of a length equal to not less than twice the distance from the stowage position of the lifeboat. Another is two buoyant rescue coits attached to not less than 30 meters of buoyant line. And last, radar reflector, used to help larger vessels spot smaller vessel on their radar screen. That's all for our lifeboat's equipment. I hope guys you enjoy and learn from the video. If you like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. This is Siemens Blog. Thank you for watching.